Thanks, Bob, and welcome to another Cast Iron Ranger. I'm Dan Brooks, and helping me, my kitchen grip, Marty Frenzel. He makes it all happen. And today, we're going to be cooking catfish, frying catfish and fries. We're here at Fenton Lake. It's National Hunting and Fishing Day, and we're going to have a great time. The secret to good catfish is starting with the batter. Now, you've probably heard me say I don't measure anything. But what we're going to do is we're going to put her in about a pint to a quart of milk. Eh, yeah, close enough. Now, we're going to put in a bunch of eggs, right? Woo! Gets a little messy, but don't worry about it. All right. We're going to put in about a half a dozen of these. Next, we're going to mix it all up, because this is what's going to make our batter stick. We're going to mix all this up. So you just kind of keep mixing it there, and it'll take you a minute or two. But once you get that all mixed up, next, and any fish batter will work. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're just gonna pour this around, and this is just a cornmeal mix. Anyone will work. Anything like that's perfect, all right? Next, what we do, and we're, by the way, as I mentioned earlier, we're serving up catfish. So this is important. These big old catfish fillets, you can catch them here in New Mexico. We've got a big catfish stocking program. We're gonna dip this in there, just like this. Then our next step is right here, and we're gonna move this around in the batter. Let me just move it around. Oh, look at that, hmm? Next, as soon as our oil's ready, which it will be any moment, we're gonna fry it. Now checking the fryers, I got them right about 300 degrees, which is perfect. Now this one here, I'm gonna use for fries, and I've been cutting potatoes all day. No, not really. When you're out in the woods, I do it the easy way. Right here, you can buy these anywhere. They sell fries, we're gonna pour them in. Look at that. Okay, I might have went just a little overboard, but I do things big. Ready? We're gonna dump these down in, oh! Look at that. There we go. All right, we got the fries in. They're good to go. They're coming along nicely. Now it's also time to put in our catfish. I'm looking down, these are at about 350. That's perfect. Let me just go ahead and put a few in here. All right, now these are ready to go in. Ooh, good things are happening now. All right, now these have been in about 10 minutes. And if you look at them, they're gonna be golden brown. Now I use peanut oil because it's a little drier and it really makes a great texture and taste. So let's go ahead and put these out. Here we go. Right there, look at those. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Beautiful. Golden brown. Okay, next comes right here the fries. They've been on about 12 minutes. And my nose and my eyes tell me they're done. Look at that. Now that's a water fries. Now what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna get me a, fit. Ooh, look how tender that is, it's coming apart. Get me a little basket. Fish and fries, look at that. Now, woo, you can't beat that. That is falling apart right here as we speak, look at that. Little tartar sauce. That's a catfish fillet now. 